Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, I'm Ronan Lin and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today we'll be cooking Taiwan Rou Fan or Taiwanese braised pork rice. So let's start cooking. First, we'll cut up some pork belly, 500 grams of it. I've cut up most of it, just leave a small piece to show you how I'm going to do it. Lay it down flat and cut it very thinly, like this. Right? Some of you might ask, can I ground this instead of just cutting them up? You can if you want to, but to have a better texture while, while you are eating it, I'll suggest you actually cut them because it tastes so much better. The texture is totally different. So that's why I prefer to actually cut them up into thin slices. Once you have sliced them thinly like this, just place them like this and just cut them as thin as possible. This is how we like want it to be. A little bit of fats, a little bit of skin. This will be really, really good when you cook it. Continue with the rest of the pork until everything has been cut up. Now that we've sliced up the pork, it's time to cook them. In a heater pan, just add a little bit of oil. I'm just adding a little bit of oil down here to induce the fats from the pork. I don't have to add too much oil because as you're frying the pork, more fats will come out from the pork. Put in the pork. Stir them and fry them until they are a little bit brown. Don't let them clump together. Keep moving them around. I have some viewers asking me why their non-stick pan actually can't last. One of the main reasons is the oil that they use. When using non-stick pan, it's important to note that never, never use olive oil in the non-stick pan because it will spoil the coating. Why is that so? Because of the low heating point of olive oil. Now, as you can see from the pan over here, there's water emitting out. We have to fry it until it's dry. So keep stirring it around. Can you see the water flowing out from the pot? We need to fry it until it's dry. As you can see, the pork is almost dry now. What I'm trying to do now is to get a nice brown all over the pork and also to get some of the fats out also. So I will keep frying them until the fats are out. When the pork has brown like this, and you can see oil coming out, we will put in the chopped onion. 70 grams of shallots, pour them in. There's different versions of uh, how people cook this lu rou fan in Taiwan. Some actually add in sakura prawns, which are the small dry shrimp. Um, I don't like to do that, but I like to add in mushroom, which actually adds another dimension to this dish, and I love it that way. So you're going to fry these until you can smell the nice fragrance from the shallots as well as the pork. When the fragrance has come out, time to add in garlic. Two cloves of garlic, put them in. The garlic is chopped like this. Mix them up well for about 30 seconds or so. This is going to be so good. Whenever I go to Taiwan, this is a must-have dish for me. Every year at the night market, they are bound to be very good to roll fun around. Wow, smells really, really good now. Eight pieces of dried mushroom. I've hydrated them and cut them and diced them like this. Put them in. Mix them up well. One teaspoon of wu xiang fen or five spice powder. Pepper, white pepper. Mix them up well. Half a cup of Chinese rice wine or bai jiu. This is very important because the bai mi jiu adds a very very nice taste and fragrance to this dish and it also removes any pokiness if there's any at all. One third of a cup of light soya sauce. One third of a cup of dark soya sauce. 15 grams of rock sugar. You can use normal sugar if you want to. So them are well. Smells really, 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 really good. Now we add in 700 milliliter of chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock at home, you can use just normal water, will be fine too. Add a little bit of uh, chicken stock powder if you want. Now turn this to high heat now. We want to boil the content first. 
Once it's boiling, take out the lid. I bought some hard boiled egg. I'm going to just put them in. I'm going to put the lid back on. Turn the heat down to low and let it slowly stew for 45 minutes to 1 hour's time. See you back in an hour's time. This has been cooking for 45 minutes already. And because of the quantity of the meat, 45 minutes should be good enough. If you have more meat inside here, please do it at 1 hour to 1 and a half hour in order to make the meat more tender. But this is just fine for 500 grams. Okay. Give it a light stir. Look how beautiful the dish is. This goes very well with noodles or with steamed rice. We are going to mash this with steamed rice and this is going to be our lunch. So we are going to assemble them now onto a bowl of rice. Final thing to do, assemble this dish. I've bought some vegetable, choy some over here. Stick them around the bowl like this. We braise it, our braised pork. Spread them up generously on the rice some gravy smells really 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 good time to enjoy this dish now mm. really really good my favorite meal actually so ladies and gentlemen this is how we cook our Taiwanese noodle roll fat or braised pork rice I hope you enjoyed our video do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching